and we're back. So, I, I had a few days, a few days to rest after that, and, uh, we've saved, so I feel much less... Ah, oh, crap, it's daytime, isn't it? Hmm. Well, this is awkward. I forgot we can't continue the floor if it's daytime. <laughs> Whoops. Pretend that didn't happen. Just buy another warp wire. Whoops. And a nap. Till nighttime. In later games, they actually uh, condensed uh, nap and sleep into the same option, and they gave you until morning or until night as your uh, your options out of sleep. So that's cool. Menu consolidation is always fun. Unless it's not, then it isn't. Yep. Alright. Now we can actually map this area out. Two squares, and it probably just goes like that, honestly. Something over there, two squares, and I'm just up. what that was, but it wasn't a pillar. Yeah, it probably just goes like that. So, let's continue on with that. Alright, so we got a one square, and it looks like there's a path there. Oh. Focus the one snowbird. That should be fine. Well, rain hit him, so that's that's all that really matters at the end of the day, isn't it? Ah, uh, Torpor. You're great for fighting random monsters. I need to get Trevor some EXP to be equal to the party again. <laughs> Sorry, Trevor. You're just not very useful against bosses. Even with the proto-boss build. I guess. It's hard to make a hexer good against bosses. Bosses don't don't care about status ailments a lot of the time. I, thank you. Come on. Do try to keep up, game. That's not a path. I thought it might be, but it's not. So, I did the best I could with Trevor, uh, making him do status, uh, like, uh, the sapping and frailty stuff, but there's always so much you can really do against bosses with, with ailments. It's kind of sad. I feel bad for Trevor a little bit. We'll go after the one that's weak. Good job, party. Thanks, Trevor. We're also going to ignore the nobody nobody levels up until everyone levels up thing. As long as Trevor's so far behind, we're gonna we're gonna forget that that's that that's the rule. Um, let's see. Probably just TP up again for Sahone. You need to you actually need to max out Gag. I know what's coming up. You need to max out Gag. Um, Kira can. See, this is the thing. I don't really know what else to give Kira really. And I kind of want to build her to, uh, build her to auto attack because the special things are very relative. Uh, but I do want to max out leg shot, but it's not very important right now, so I don't think I need to. We have one of every elemental shot, which is just about all you need because it's all dictated by strength. Just so upgrade your strength. And then Trevor is just Trevor. Okay, that was oh, and I drew one too far, of course. Always do. Wouldn't be a thing if it if I didn't. And uh, it's gonna be like that. Cool. And let's continue, shall we? Hmm, it's one of these. Oh goody. That's that. It looks like it goes for two squares, so it's probably gonna be like that until further notice. And this goes down. 
continues on. Let's try to avoid pissing off the locals if we can. Notice I say if, if we can. I don't... That's how that looks, at least. Hmm. Okay. No one's presently angry at me. Oh, he's angry at me now. Maybe I go silence him just to, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go silence this one just to, uh... Yep, it's a dark sword. Um, I think it's cuffs, but I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Well, that's all we really need, because Climax... God, it's such a broken skill, Climax. It's great for exploring, though. And there, there, there's the wing skull. See, that's that's what drops the wing skulls. I've shown you one on screen, so I don't feel bad about getting one off screen. And then there's a definite wall here. It goes like that. I'm gonna guess there's probably gonna be a shortcut after this to uh, bypass this nonsense, because uh, no, that's not how that ice goes actually comes down like that. So we don't need to be there at all. Good. That's probably just a one square. That looks like it's gonna be two. We cut to here. I haven't angered any locals, which is good. Alright. That's all part of the same ice flow there. Jesus, how big is this ice field? <laughs> and where am I going in it? Oh, there's a path down this way. So let's see if this is the right way. I honestly have no idea. Oh. What's up, guy? Yeah, why not? Um, I don't think we need the cuffs, but we could try it anyway. And, uh... Nope. Climax. There we go. Thought it was ecstasy for a second. Up there. are a waste of time. Oh, this one's mad at me, though. So I guess we're going to fight this one, too, then. Alright. There's a door here, it looked like. So, that's cool. I think Cuffs actually is stronger than a regular attack. I think. It's hard to tell sometimes. And Climax! Alright, good. Oh, Climax. Such a useful little skill. It was a great investment putting points into that so early in the game. It was a great investment. Oh, there's Ice Path here. Ice Path there. Hmm. Where any of this goes. Let's see. Mm, down here might lead to a shortcut, so it might be worth taking a look at. Right, we got more ice. There's, okay, there isn't a path that way. I thought there wasn't. Maybe there is no shortcut along this path. Um, hmm. Oh, okay, cool. 
As, as you walk through the forest, watch your progress, can you afford it? Yes. And is it a shortcut to avoid all of this? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's good. And nothing over here. So now, when we want to get back here, it's much, much, much easier. That's good. Um... I want to see what's up here. If I'm honest. Well, this is rather uneventful, isn't it? Hmm. Well, never mind then. There's nothing up there. You pass through the door to reach a hallway built around a frozen lake. Beautiful stillness calms your hearts, but the hall has its share of danger. Your veteran explorer's senses detect a powerful, a powerful aura from the center of the icy lake. Take great caution should you, continue, should you continue to investigate the hall. If you, if you, if you proceed forth, you will inevitably encounter a terrible demon. Hmm. Well. Terrible demon to me sounds like a boss. So let's, uh... Not continue on unless I'm, you know, very certain that I'm ready to go fight a boss. Which I'm not. I think that's as far as those are going to go. There's a wall here. Let's just map out the room a bit. Just because we can. Oh, that's probably going to go like that. This is a pretty big frozen lake. assume that those two squares are going to be ice now. And there was a boss in this uh, little section around here, though. Oh, can I actually not even get here? Hmm. That's how that's going to be. to go fight this boss, um, in that little circle there. Um, I don't know if I want to try that or not this, today. Hmm. I think it's worth a shot. We can go, uh, we can go try the boss. So let me go, uh, make a save real quick, and then we can go, we, then we can go fight, because I have no sense of faith in myself. <laughs> Well, we'll be right back after, after a quick save and a rest, then we'll, then we'll try the boss. And here we are. Let's try this boss now. Don't have much faith in my party, but, uh, well, we'll see how well that all works out. And good call on me for guessing how, how big this lake was. Just map out these little sections around the boss. Because I'm like that. So I really do just have to fight you to continue then. Alright, fine. Oh my god! What is this Cthulian monster? Oh my god! Scylla? Okay. Um, well, the first thing we need to do is bind your head. Because I know what your head does. It's not pleasant. It also looks weird and squiddly, which is not cool. Well, that's bad. This could be over before it even started. <laughs> be 
very well may be, as a matter of fact. Or you can just spam your uh, leg bind skill on me over and over. That's that's also fine. If I had a way to remove binds from my party, that would be handy, but I don't. Uh, I guess try to lower her agility. Oh, okay, you're just gonna spam tentacle then. That's fine. See, this boss actually can be kind of hard, because, um... Yeah, she, she has a skill that she should be using by now that, like, decimates your whole party if your legs are bound. So I don't really know why Scylla's not using it. I'm... I'm fine with this. But it's weird. And apparently I'm just gonna steamroll this boss, so I don't know why I'm so... so why I was so scared. Probably because of that tentacle, uh... Yep, there we go, then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then that happens. Alright. <laughs> um, okay. Let's bring Rain back to life. It's not gonna matter, but... Oh, well, alright then. Apparently it's, uh... Alright. <laughs> so, honey, heal yourself. Oh, there's that, then. <laughs> Alright, well, that was Scylla. <laughs> Scylla is difficult. We'll save the map data. It's just gonna map out that little section for me. It's pretty handy. Um, it's handy, but it's confusing, because if, uh, if you do a lot and then die, you just have a lot of map filled in that you have to re-explore to find all the bits that are there, if that makes any sense. So, yeah. Um, question, do I think Todd would be any useful in this boss fight? Um, subjective. Because he do cause he wouldn't have Crusade. Oh, yep, see? There. I, okay. I actually did save, but that's, that's fine. Uh, okay. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go do this, do, do this whole section back here again, which sucks. Did I even look, did, I swear I saved between videos, but apparently I didn't. So, alright then. Well, uh, I'll see you guys next week with more Let's Play the Eternal Odyssey 2 project. Till then, um, I'm gonna remap this section and catch Trevor up EXP-wise. And we'll see what's, what's going on with that. So, uh, yeah. So, hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you next time. So, till then, till then. Almost two bosses in one week. That would have been good, but wasn't going to happen. It was destined not to. So, I'll see you guys later. So, till then, till then. Okay? Out. Okay, I lied. We're going to try the, We're gonna try Scylla again. So, let's go ahead and do that. See how it works this time. Now, I think what I was doing wrong the last time was I was putting way too much focus on the bind. While we have other things to worry about, like killing her. That being said, we're actually not going to have Rain Mitareba the first turn, because Mitareba is a, a lot better when her when, uh, when her defense goes down. Now, Scarlet is going to focus on gag on gagging because that's what Scarlet does. She gags the enemy. That doesn't sound any better. Um, <laughs> technically, uh, Scylla's weak against Volt, but I think we're going to use Ricochet. Actually, let's let's try Volt and see what and see what it does by comparison, because I know Ricochet is going to be good. It's just a matter of uh, how good will it be. It's not that bad. And by the way, this is the skill that I was... Okay, good. But that my party is now destroyed. That's cool. Uh, that's the skill that I really wanted her to not use, by the way. Is Soul Cry. Oh, well, alright. That's fine then. Uh, we need to focus on gagging because soul cries. That's is uh, the skill I'm trying to stop, basically. Oh, good. She can't soul cry anymore. Or a lullaby. Ha <laughs> ha. Suck a dick, Scylla. Suck a dick. I think that bought me like one turn with without her being able to destroy me. So there's that, right? Uh. I think you could actually take a turn to heal now. 
Um, you... I forget who's getting healed. Who are you healing, Sony? Okay. Yes. Meanwhile, our two damage dealers continue to pump out the damage. Well, Rain's gonna start using Mitareba, even though I don't have Frailty on. It's just safer this way. Ah, uh, Soulcry is blocked. Suck it, Scylla. Suck it. Now, if we could get the arms bound too, that would be so incredibly useful. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put, uh, not gonna put money on that. I think I can win this. App well, never mind. Oh, okay. Oh, low accuracy skills that somehow just destroy people's existences. Her head is still bound. That's perfect, actually. So I can do this little thing to Nectar. And, um... To lower her damage, I guess. I don't know if it's going to make any difference at this point, but we're going to do it anyway. Ah, good, your soul cry is worthless. Haha! <laughs> and there's no reason I can't win this turn. Now watch as I still lose. And then I get very angry. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen. Or not. Good. I win! Haha! <laughs> and I get the snow vine. Yay! Cool. Let's go to the next floor, just out of, uh, curiosity as to... Okay. My map skills, they're failing me. Is there really an FOE here? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, nope, it actually goes a little bit further than that, Rain. Boop. And boop, boop. No, I thought this was the stairs for some reason. Nothing there, though. No, there they are. That's probably how that goes, but... Let's go take a look at this next stratum, just because. Fourth stratum, the Petal Bridge. 416, echoing leaden footsteps. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and make the first mappings in here. We're gonna go up there, spoilers. This place is pretty. If you, if you ever wanted Japan the Stratum, well, here we are. Ah, it's pretty. And draw that. I think all of this is probably just going to be that. But we'll return to town, because that's all I really wanted to do here. Get to the Stratum, and, uh, that. We'll sell that. Huh. Pale Queen. What's that? Is that any good for you, Scarlet? Yes, it is. Okay. Good. That's the name of that. It's awesome, though. The Pale Queen. Oh, that sounds so cool. But that's where we're gonna end the set. I just wanted to go beat Scylla because I knew that I could, and I can. So, I hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you next time with more Let's Play e 2. So, till then, till then. This time... Rain K out.